Emily Zlanian. I'm sitting here with Matthew D'Addario and Harry Shum Jr. of Shadow Hunters, which just ended. Literally. <laughs> just ended. So, what are you guys going to miss the most about filming and being a part of this series? Um, the cookies that we'd get. No, I'm right. No, I. No. The food. No, it was, it was definitely not I'm the thing I'm gonna miss. Though. No, I. You know, it, honestly, it. You know, coming on, on to set, like we, we have this friendship, this relationship that we've kind of built on on the show that doesn't. That that when you go on when you hop on to a project, you you just hope that you get along with with the people that you work with, and I think that is always a lottery and always a gamble. So uh, I think for this one in particular, we can we can have so much fun with this material, and sometimes if even there's serious moments, we can still put some levity behind it. And I think um, even if it's off screen, to have this reaction from the fans, I think it's one of the one of the bigger mm -hmm. things when you make you make a show you're like even if you're proud of it or not whatever it is you just hope that it's it's uh, uh the reaction is is something right. that you can be proud of right and um and that's been the most rewarding thing i think uh, about being part of the show and what it means to a lot of people and in turn it means a lot to to us so, all of us yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah the the fan response i think one thing i'll miss about filming like you were saying we had a really gr good group of people uh, not just the main seven, eight people, but uh, everybody else who was coming on. We always enjoyed working with everybody. So, you know, you never know if that's going to be the case, if everyone's going to be, you know, work hard, work on time, know the material, and try to and try to do good work. Sometimes people are, you know, maybe a little apathetic, and that's disappointing. And so this was really a wonderful experience overall. And then that work, you know, was rewarded with a fandom that is both enthusiastic and um, very kind. And uh, we've honestly been honored to play these characters. In the finale episode, we finally see these two get hitched. Mm -hmm. How was it shooting that scene? Well, I've shot a wedding before. <laughs> that one didn't go too well. That didn't sure. go so well. So this was a it better. It ended great, though. It ended great. Uh, yeah. Oh, it right. Yeah, yeah. It ended it great. Yeah. yeah, it did. You're right. But the wedding aspect no, didn't the go The traditional, yeah. traditional yeah. aspect yes. didn't go did well. did not. But the second wedding, fantastic. And also, this is a little It wasn't traditional. Well, kind of traditional and not traditional at the same time. Watch wedding. Magnus Flair style. Oh, the, the, the second yeah, one. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, it was yeah, very nice. But the one thing people, I don't know, we, it was the last thing we filmed. Yeah. Which was sort of strange. Yeah. Because you don't, you don't film in order or anything like that. But this was the last thing we filmed. And the last shots we were doing... Uh, to wrap up the show, was we're on that off? set. Was it running off? Was it running off down the aisle? Was that the last one? The <laughs> last, no, the last one we filmed was uh, us, everybody dancing in oh, that room. Oh, that's right, yes. Yeah. And so there was a kind of finality to it. Yeah. Like in the We're show, like celebrating in a weird way, yes. on screen and off screen. It was and like being sad and emotional. There was like emotional thing, uh, emotional uh, uh, scenes happening and also celebrating. So it, it was, it paralleled. You, kind the of the feeling level, behind it yeah. was all mixed and stuff so yeah it was like a bittersweet moment um and then we were already dressed for uh, <laughs> for the party the after the, for the for the rap party because we go. had our tuxes on mm -hmm. um who was more emotional on that last day of set who was most or more more between the two of you oh between the two of us look honestly the emotions from the show didn't quite kick in at that end of filming yeah. I, I don't it, it i know it was difficult for me to understand that it was at its end because it wasn't at its end. We have a lot, lot coming. We had a lot coming. We had more of the show. It was going to be on the air. And I don't really I think, think when it's you, I think over. When you, I think when you, I think when you watch it, when it like maybe, uh, yeah. maybe having watched it all now, uh, it's uh, <laughs> it definitely gives that sense of finality. But I don't know. Maybe it'll kick in randomly at some point. What, what the fans have done so well is is like immortalizing it. <laughs> With uh, <laughs> with with their the fan art and you know right. with how they they continue these stories whether they're writing it themselves or they're you know they're 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 putting it to uh, in in art form and I think it just doesn't feel like it's it's ending in that aspect. You know yeah. what? I think that's what's I'm, really neat. I'm actually gonna agree. There's there's not I think that's really why it doesn't ending. feel like art it. in general. Right. There's no ending to it because once it's created, it exists and people can see it. And, and they own it, yeah. you know, in, in however they want to see it. I mean, you have it. statues that are 2,000 years old and people still go to see yeah. them and there's an experience from it. There's shows, there's movies, we still celebrate these things. It doesn't end when you stop filming it. Once you've created it, once you've put art out there, um, once you put a story out there, rather, it's 
told on onward and, and forward as long as people care about the subject matter. Yeah. And I'm sure tons of people are going to catch this streaming if they haven't already seen it. And it's yeah, just going to grow and grow course. from there. Yeah, there's, awesome. and there, there's there's still shows from like 10 years ago that I still watch and have oh, like same. such a connection yeah, you to. See what's you happening know? with like The Office and Friends. It's a whole rebirth because of it's all being aired and all these kids who are like 16 are like, have you heard of the show <laughs> yeah. The Office? Yeah, and I'm like, the yes, office? I have. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> if we okay. picked back up with Magna Magnus and Alec in about five years, what do you think their lives would be like? Eating uh, lobster and they're just they're, they're a lot of shellfish. A lot of shellfish. A lot Only of shellfish. champagne. Shellfish. A lot of shellfish. Diet. Champagne. I feel like they'd be on this like new random diet. Yeah. <laughs> well, five years from now, it's the all shellfish diet. And Idris. And they're doing it. They're looking good. Uh, I think there's definitely some uh, a lot of beach vacations. Uh, they're not working that long. Wait, what did you say? Five years? Yeah. Roughly. Five years. Oh yeah. Mm. Alec is kids. checked out. Yeah, kids. Alex checked mm. out. Uh, you, you know, they leave the kids with the grandparents a lot. Magnus, has a, he's, got a, he's got a gut. Just he's, yeah, he's just just no, like, just he can't be. <laughs> yeah, hair's, hair's actually like just down, not even spiking. Oh, <laughs> long hair? He's just like, Ooh. hey, <laughs> what's yeah, up, Alec? Like, yeah. Come on. Let's he's go done, get a drink. He's done trying. I think that that's the best version. <laughs> hey, uh, They're I'm just happy. happy. They're like, I'm happy. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, no I love more you, stress, no more work. No more going in and killing demons and solving problems between random people who show up and and they have a issues. they have a they have a really good business where their relationship clears a lot of people's skin. Yes, I heard about that. They also have that. a demon rehabilitation yeah. program, yeah. which is very successful. It's a busy life. Yeah, they use a lot of psychotherapy and other things to help with the demons, and the uh, the demons get better and they enter into standard life. Of course, demons do have a little trouble getting back into the, the, the you know the normal grind. Yeah, but uh, yeah. it's been very successful, and Alec made a billion dollars, <laughs> and he and he's so rich, and he gives it all away, and he gives it all away because because he's, he's that Alec. type of guy. This is amazing. Morning, Thank you guys so much. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you for Shout putting up with us. Matthew <laughs> Dario, Harry Shum Jr. Stream it because it's over. Thank Stream you. It. <laughs>